there are these hidden communities in the Tri-Cities of homeless people. So welcome to my channel. My name is Felicia Fallon. I am working on a project called Travel Your City. It will eventually be expressed through art somehow and I do a lot of research for my art. So this is the research process. You guys get to come along with me. I This video today is going to be kind of rambling, talking about homelessness and poverty in my city currently. This might be a couple part series. I'm going to talk a little bit about my background and like where I've seen homelessness and then I'm going to also talk about uh, specific to the Tri-Cities, specific to where I live and my experiences from yesterday from traveling my city. There are these hidden communities in the Tri-Cities of homeless people. And so she's been going to this main one that she's found and just talking to people. This friend Morgan, she still goes out and one of the biggest things when she was homeless that she needed was just a friend. Someone who she could talk to, someone who understood. And so she's been going out for several months. There are these hidden communities in the Tri-Cities of homeless people. And so she's been going to this main one that she's found and just talking to people, starting to build relationships, conversations. And um, so this last time she went, she took me with her and we went in a time where there's not people there. They kind of leave by nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, they go stand on a corner with a sign or they go find somewhere else to be or they just, they leave like anybody else leaves in the mornings from where they've been sleeping the whole night. So we went there and I will, I took some video footage. I'm, I'm probably gonna try to go back because I wanna do something more powerful and impactful than just introducing the subject. But, uh, um, so we went there and this community was all underneath these bridges, these major roads. The um, There's Highway 395 and it connects to what we call the Blue Ridge that goes across the Columbia River. And uh, there's some major roads there. There's highways and uh, where these, this community is, it's underneath these highways. And you can see, I'll show a picture of where you come up and you're in between the two lanes of the highway and you're right like uh 15 yards away are eight different dwellings underneath the bridge where it's almost like individual apartments where each couple or family or person has their own section where uh, the picture didn't turn out that I took, but uh, there's like one with a photo frame that had, it, it used to be set up and now it's broken and like smashed. And there will be, in certain times of the year, you'll find blankets in a pile. And in other times you'll find a blanket in the, I didn't get a picture of this, but the like, area in between the little sections and you'll see clothing and you'll see different things and then also she was my friend Morgan was telling me about there's this one tree we were at that it you for months it had a sign that was posted on it said please pick up your trash like this is my area I I live here you don't get to trash my space it might not be much but it's my space and then um there's a tunnel with some really cool graffiti that um, we found a man sleeping in so we didn't get to go to one of the other areas that people live in uh there's all this there's a couple areas for bathing and then like a cool kind of hangout spot for teens where they go and they hang out um, in this area and just listen to the water from the river like flowing down. And there's, uh, we, we did find a home that was made out of a, a mattress and several blankets with a tent in the middle. Uh, and so, so Morgan knew several of the people. She's like, oh yeah, like this is a couple that I met. Like I think this is probably where they're living or this is this family or whatever. Um, that she kind of built relationships with. And so it's uh, it's really interesting. I think I'm gonna go back with her maybe a couple more times and just kind of get uh, more ideas for how to communicate this idea. Cause I think that, I was talking to my husband last night about it and uh, I think the powerful part is like where it's at, the location of it. It's right under roads that you and I drive on every single day. And in Tri-Cities, people are, like, I told them about my friend's place a while back, and uh, there's a group of women at, I think Urban Sketchers probably, and I told them about my friend's place, and they're like, is there even a need for a homeless shelter here? And yes, there's a huge need. Like, there's over 600 homeless kids in Richland and Kennewick alone, and 600 homeless kids. Like, that's crazy to me. Um, and then the shelters are full a lot of the times, and there's just not... It's so well hidden, so well kept secret. And I don't know that, uh, I feel like, sorry, my, my jacket's falling off because I'm moving so much. Um, yeah, I don't know that most people are aware. Like, and I've, actually, I know that most people in our community are not aware of where this is going on. And I want to, to show it in a way that will not endanger the people living there but also we'll have people think about it. like every time they drive over this bridge they are driving over people's homes they're driving over a community of people living on um, 
So I don't quite know how I'm going to share this all. Um, but yeah, so thank you for listening. I I know this is kind of a tough subject, but I think that it's, we live in a community, and I think every community has this to some extent, but we live in a community with extreme wealth and extreme poverty. And Tri-Cities has more wealth than a lot of places. And the poverty here is very, very hidden. And I just want people to be aware that it exists. It's not this perfect, pristine place with no problems. There's, there's sad things all around. And it, we can't just ignore those and pretend that our city is without those. I love Tri-Cities. I love every place I've lived. But there are negatives every single place. Every single country has poverty. Every single country has has social problems. And it's important for people living in those areas to not just pretend it doesn't exist. So thanks guys. I don't know what's gonna happen with this. Uh, so thank you. I make videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. My schedule's kind of wonky right now. I'm doing some Saturdays. Uh, I'm doing the Travel Your City stuff. So, But my goal is one video a week, one art video a week. And uh, we'll see what else. So subscribe for more somewhat randomness. I'm doing Travel Your City art videos, talk videos about the art world, and uh, some creative, just fun, experimental videos for myself. So that's what's going on on my channel. I'm Felicia Vaughn, and I hope to see you guys around. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Be sure to subscribe.